Love to Grill and today's menu is chicken fajitas. Let's get started. Chicken breasts are on the pellet grill over a direct flame and we're going to pre-cook these to go on our fajitas tonight, which I cannot wait. One of my favorite all-time healthy meals that I like to make and I like to pre-cook my chicken and absorb all of that smoky flavor that will go into the fajitas tonight. It's gonna be amazing. Okay, I just flipped them. We're gonna put a nice sear on these and then I'm going to move them over to the indirect side and we're gonna finish up our cook. Um, 165 internal temperature is what I'm looking for. And we will wrap these until tonight, till they cool off and then I'm gonna slice them and they're gonna go into my fajitas in a very hot cast iron skillet and they're going to be amazing. These are nicely seared on both sides. I'm going to move them over to the direct side. And we're gonna finish up this cook. It's gonna look nice. <laughs> okay, I'm looking for 165 internal temperature. So they got a ways to go. They're pretty big chicken breasts, but they're gonna be amazing in our fajitas tonight. Mm, can't wait. All right, I'm gonna teach you how to make the best chicken fajitas you've ever had in your entire life. As good as any of your favorite Mexican restaurants, except I'm gonna add a hatch green chili, which makes it a little new Mexican, which is where we live. But it is going to be fast and easy and delicious and healthy. And I just wanna, um, yeah, I just wanna what? I just want to cut. <laughs> okay guys, we're gonna make the best chicken fajitas you've ever had. I can't wait to show you. This is one of my favorite meals and we're doing it on the grill and it is so really quite easy. It just takes a lot of steps and a lot of prep. I've got everything laid out. So I don't have to reach for anything. Everything's at my fingertips. So as you can see, we've got the Yoder fired up for direct grilling. And I've got a cast iron skillet. And what's really cool is uh, we are using uh, our fajita pans, which uh, will get really, really hot and sizzling. And we're going to eat off of those tonight. These are super cool. All right. And these are just tortillas that I've wrapped in foil that are going to be heating up while I saute and stir fry my fajitas. So let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna saute some onions. So I'm going to put about two tablespoons of oil in my pan. And we're gonna wait for that to heat up until it's shimmering and hot. You can always tell when oil gets hot because it gets that really nice shimmer on the top of it. And we're gonna start with our onions first and then we're gonna go with our beautiful bell peppers, which is, uh, I used orange and yellow today. And then the chicken is what I grilled and I just sliced it and cut it into bite-sized pieces. It'll be our last ingredient um, in our pan tonight. And uh, all of this is lime juice, jalapeno, hatch chopped green chili, our fajita seasoning, and our garlic. And this is gonna be fabulous. So I think our oil is ready. I'm gonna test it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's ready. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with our onions. And that sizzle is, is awesome, right? Yeah, oh yeah. Whoops. Kind of flipping out of the pan. So I'm just going to, I am using Cattleman's Grill uh, carne out of soda. And what this has in it really is salt, garlic, chili pepper, and onion. 
but I am going to add some Mexican oregano, some cumin, and some red pepper flakes, which I just put in a ramekin. Um, right now, I'm just going to season my onions just a tad, because we're going to season in layers. Season the onions, add the peppers, season the peppers, add the chicken, season the chicken. So we'll saute these for about maybe three, four minutes. We want them tender, but we still want them crisp, okay? Okay, so our onions are looking really good. They're crispy, yet they're tender. We're gonna add my red and yellow peppers. A little bit of seasoning. The carne asada from Cattleman's Grill. And a little bit of cumin, red pepper flakes, and Mexican oregano. We're going to saute that for probably two to three minutes. We want them as well. We want them tender and but crispy. Just like your favorite Mexican food restaurant. Grill to table. We have our grill set about 405 degrees tonight. We want a really good sear on this. We want to make sure that we flash fry them. I'm just going to close the lid and let those cook for a couple of minutes. All right. They've been sauteing for a couple of minutes. So I'm going to add our jalapeno. I'm going to add our garlic. I'm going to add, this is the juice of one lime. I'm going to add half. And we're going to add the other half when I add the chicken. Since the chicken is already pre-grilled, it all we need to really do is heat it up. Looking really good. So we're going to let all those flavors incorporate the aromatics on the garlic and the jalapeno. Just open up and release. So I'm gonna shut the door for another couple minutes. All right, guys, our vegetables are, are awesome. They are perfect. So now for the last step, I'm gonna add the chicken I grilled on, um, on the grill. And I'm gonna add the rest of my seasoning. Red pepper flakes, cumin, Mexican oregano. Just a touch of the cattleman's carne asada. And our hatch chopped green chili will go in now. We're gonna put about half of this in. the rest of our lime juice. I'm just going to mix all this together. I'm going to let the chicken heat up in the skillet. Looks like it, we have a done deal. This is looking fabulous and delicious and smells amazing. This is our chicken fajitas for the night. Done with a grilled chicken, a smoked grilled chicken that I did on the grill earlier, which I let cool off. Here's our, our fajita pans, our skillets that we're gonna have our dinner off of. Just like a Mexican restaurant. And now, I'm just gonna scoop it. You hear that sizzle? Oh my God, it's perfect. We preheated these in a 405 degree grill just alongside of sauteing our, 
our fajitas. So easy, so delicious. That way you can serve it in your tortillas with all of your condiments and your tortillas I warmed up on the grill which we're going to go into the kitchen now. Alright guys, our fajitas are done. They are, they, they came out phenomenal. I can't order this in a Mexican restaurant any better than what I've made in a matter of a very short time, minutes really, on the grill. And uh, we did it in a cast iron skillet. I have these cute little fajita sets which I, which I uh, heated in the grill. Uh, we have our tortillas here. We have every, all of our condiments. So you could just scoop whatever you want. I did a combination of corn. I have flour that I heated on the grill as well. And man, ooh, they're hot, they're hot, they're hot, they're hot. Anyway, <laughs> I'm just gonna scoop a little bit of this wonderful fajitas into my tortilla. And I'm using corn. Traditionally, you use flour, but what, what the hell, right? So I'm gonna do a scoop of my fajitas, a little bit of cheese, a little bit of salsa. Squeeze of lime, which I'm a lime freak, okay, and it just goes really good with with uh, fajitas. And this is my cute little fajita that you could have a tomato if you want. I just, I don't want any. <laughs> I don't want any tomato, but that's fresh tomato too. You could do lettuce, you could do whatever you want. Set up your, your fajita bar however you want. Make this your own, it's so simple to make. And um, yeah, so good. Mm. 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 So good. You can't, you know, you can't get this in a Mexican restaurant. Well, you can. You're going to pay a lot, right? You can do this yourself. Mm. I always felt mine is better. But this is the grilled chicken I did on the grill. And my grill enhances my meals, okay? It's the star of the show. My chicken is the star of the show. With a little bit of innovation, you can really do whatever fajita you want with with um, just a little creativity and confidence, you could have this meal and serve your family. And get these cute little fajita, um, fajita skillets. And you warm these up. Um, you don't have to warm them up in the grill if you don't want to. Put them in a 425 oven for about a half an hour and they're gonna be sizzling hot. Um, just make sure that you don't touch them. This is Sandy, Girl with the Grill, and thank you so much for watching. And welcome to my channel if you're new. And if you're not new and you've been watching me, well, here's to you. Thank you so much for, for joining me. If you like the video, hit subscribe. Leave me a comment. Ask me what you want me to cook on the grill, and I will cook it for you. And we'll go over it step by step. In the meantime, have the most amazing night. I'm going to enjoy my fajitas. Catch you later. Bye. Um, yeah, I just want to what? I just want to cut. <laughs>